Trump's DOJ issues final ultimatum to sanctuary cities, comply or else we will. It's almost unacceptable to think that there are cities and states in America that refuse to work with the federal government. But the fact remains that liberal politicians across the country are undermining our national security by not combating illegal immigration. Cities like Chicago and New York protect criminal aliens, refusing to cooperate with ICE and the DOJ. They are putting the well being of drug dealers, murderers, and rapists over the well being of American citizens. But the time has come for action. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has given these cities their final warning. From Fox News. The Justice Department on Thursday delivered a last chance warning to cities suspected of having sanctuary policies to drop their resistance to federal immigration officials. In a notice reviewed by Fox News, the DOJ announced that five jurisdictions have preliminarily been found to have laws, policies, or practices that may violate a key federal statute concerning cooperation with federal immigration officials. They are Chicago. New Orleans, New York City, Philadelphia, and Cook County, ill. Attorney General Jeff Sessions said in a written statement that sanctuary cities adopt the view that the protection of criminal aliens is more important than the protection of law-abiding citizens and of the rule of law. The Justice Department said the five cities and counties in question will have until October 27 to provide additional evidence that the interpretation and application of their laws, policies, or practices comply with the statute. These cities aren't the only places that refuse to work with federal law enforcement. But they are perhaps the worst offenders, given their size. Their continued refusal to hand over known criminal aliens to the government is only making their cities far more dangerous. Regular citizens will become victims, due to criminal aliens being released into their communities. Session and the DOJ have made it clear that sanctuary cities will be punished for their disregard for the law. The first step will be to lose funding. That means less cash for these liberal bastions to waste on their bloated programs. After that, you better believe lawsuits will start happening. The federal government will slam these cities and states for breaking the law. But something tells me these liberal hacks won't learn their lessons, until it's too late. Late.